Hi, I'm Grateful Ted. Thanks for being here because I really appreciate the time that you invest in watching these videos. Today we're in Tualatin, Oregon, and a lot of people like living in Tualatin, wondering what the heck they've done. But today we're at Lee Farms, and Lee Farms is a sunflower farm, as you can see behind me here. And there's lots to see and do. There's a maze I'll be going through. We'll see what else is available. They have a, a sunflower festival here the first three weekends of August this year. Uh, this is the middle weekend as I'm recording this. And um, I'll show you what's here because I don't know. I know there's a maze here. We'll be going through a sunflower maze, but there's a lot of other stuff. So we'll see what that is. Also, the website for this place is down in the description below and you can see everything that's uh, going on here and how much it costs to get in. So come on, let's get sunflowered. I'm not sure if this is the maze or not. Looks like it could be. Oh, look at that. If you like sunflowers, tell me down below in the comment section. I'd like to know. I don't think this is the maze. The entry fee to get in includes you being able to cut a sunflower blossom, a bloom. So you can go small, you can go big, but you get to take one blossom home with you. So depending on where I'm standing, a lot of these are waist high and then the ground dips making them even higher. This one here is a couple of, it's about a foot above my head. I'm five foot six. The bees certainly are enjoying the bloom, aren't they? And you might say, well, geez, I'm not going to come here because look at all the bees. But the bees aren't paying any attention to the humans. They're just interested in the sunflowers. Looks like this is where they're having the lunch. I think that's another entry you can purchase. Maybe you can just sit among the sunflowers for a while. And sunflowers don't just come in yellow. These look like sunflowers of a different color. Look at that. Who knew? If the sunflowers make you feel musical, you can play. This is really a cool place. It's it's people friendly. I it's I mean very people friendly. Oregon is a very large agricultural state. I know that um, I don't know if it's still the case, but a few years back. Uh, Oregon was the largest producer of uh, landscape shrubs. Now, they still might be, I I'm not sure. I do know that they're the largest producer of Christmas trees here in the United States. Over where I live in central Oregon, they used to be 
uh, in Jefferson County, where I lived for 35 years, uh, used to be the largest producer of mint, peppermint, in the United States. Uh, a few years back, they had a blight come through, and so they're letting mint go dormant now for a little while um, as they work to get rid of the blight. But it used to be one of the, uh, actually the largest producer of mint in the U.S. So it's a big agricultural state. gourds of some sort. They're actually they're bottleneck gourds according to the sign. Waiting right now for the tractor to take me and all these other people to the the maze, the sunflower maze. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, so this is the sunflower maze. Wish me luck. So came down a path and just wound up in this field. So wrong path. Gotta figure out how to get out of here. It's a maze, all right. They did say that there would be search parties if I got lost. They'd send out a search party so you can't really see a whole lot in here other than obviously sunflowers but uh it's pretty interesting <laughs> if you want to play cornhole in the middle of a maze, you can stop and do that. Okay, I made it out. They have performances here. Obviously, there's a stage.
nice places to sit out of the sun, enjoy a breeze. It's a nice breeze going right now. Well, if you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it. I have to confess that when I decided to come here to Lee's Farm in Tualatin, I, I didn't think it was going to be what it turned out to be. I thought it was really great. The maze was somewhat of a disappointment. I think that had to do with the fact that not enough of the blooms had happened. Um, if I would have waited a week, I probably would have been much happier with the maze, but there's it, uh, some of the things they've got here is incredible. There's really cool foods. I'm going to take home a, a marionberry pie and puff pastries and all kinds of things like that. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to take home some sunflowers. We've got something not the same next week. It might be similar, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. I can always use subscribers. And if you'd like to make sure that the channel keeps going, down below is a thanks button. You can uh, press the thanks button and leave some monetary support for the channel, anywhere from 99 cents to a gazillion dollars. And 100% of that will go to this channel, okay? I think that's it. So we're gonna see you next week and we will see you next week.